Hello Connections, Mike here. We're on our sixth video in the Happy Manager video series. We call it the Happy Manager video series, but if you want to be happier, it's going to help you as well. But by and large, it's geared towards managers and people leaders. So most of our previous videos have been around mindset towards being healthier, towards being happier, towards being more balanced. Uh, today, we're going to go a little bit more into specifics and tactics, and we're going to talk about our physical health, our fitness, our bodies. Why is this so important today then? Uh, you might be saying, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a manager in a, in, a, um, in a bank. Why do I need to know anything about um, fitness? Well, again, if we go back in time, 50 to 100 years, most people would have, not everybody, but most people would have had relatively good uh, fitness because they had to move for their jobs. They had to move stuff around. They had to generally be active to survive. Today, that couldn't be any further from the truth. We Most of us sit for our jobs, so we spend uh, extended periods of time in an unnatural position, which affects our posture. Most of us just don't move enough, something that was uh, exasperated by lockdown. Um, we now have virtual working, so lots of people, if they don't check uh, or consciously try and address it, we'll, we can legitimately get for a day taking less than 2,000 steps, which has been unheard of in human history before. It used to be impossible to do so. There's other changes as well, isn't there? We don't carry our shopping anymore. We've got trolleys. We don't even have to go shopping. We can have it delivered to our doors. Uh, we can order food cooked for us. We don't even have to go through the process of cooking it to us. So we're a, we're a field away from, a far field away from where we used to be. So moving is no longer built into our lives. It's something we have to consciously make happen. You as a manager, or as a people leader, you've got to do that as well because it's gonna make you feel like crap if you don't, and people are gonna look up to what you're doing and they're gonna see you as a role model. So when it comes to improving our body health, what I want you to do is get away from looking to the internet, even though we're on the internet now, and listening to the people on Instagram that tell you you need to be going to the gym five times a week or three times a week, whatever it might be, to the people that have got their tops off telling you that this is what you can look like if you do A, B, and C. You've got to ignore all that because that's not health. That's people that are naturally quite fit. Yes, they work for it as well, but they're using their, their bodies to market something to you that you don't actually want. So what we've got to uh, do is get what we call a minimum viable product for health, okay? And for most of us, what that looks like is getting enough steps in a day and taking our body for a full body mobility routine. It's as simple as that. How many steps does a human need a day to be healthy? We don't know exactly. Lots of people talk about 10,000 steps. I like 10,000 steps a day. I do about um, a step a second, which, work, which, which works out roughly to about an hour and 40 for me to do 10,000 steps over the day. I find that if I sit for two, much longer than six hours a day without breaking it up with walking, I start to feel a bit rubbish. So 10,000 steps a day is a good number. I've done some research on it and it suggests six to 16,000 was the kind of steps of hunter-gatherers on average. We don't know, but really it's what, it's what works for you. Test it, you know, get out there and move and see, okay, well, I did this many steps this day and I felt great at the end of the day. I did this many steps on this day and I felt rubbish, I felt sluggish. So find the number that works for you, but I think you're pretty safe with 10,000 steps. Now what that does is, it obviously makes you feel good, but it works your heart and your lungs. It keeps your heart and lungs healthy. When your heart and lungs are working, they stay healthy. The body works on a use it or lose it principle. When you're not using your heart and lungs, they start to uh, they start to get weaker. You become more susceptible to disease, more susceptible to uh, issues, and you just generally, your metabolism drops. You don't feel very good. The second one then is a mobility routine, and this is to help you with your posture. Again, the body works on a use it or lose it principle. So if you don't use certain parts of your body for a long periods of time, they start to switch off. And what we commonly find is that because we spend a lot of time seated, bent over forwards, all these muscles on the back here start to dissipate and not work very well. All these muscles on the front start to get tight. All these muscles here get tight. We start to feel tension in our necks. Where posture goes off, we're more prone to injury. So minimum viable product, we need to make sure that we're moving our joints for a full range of motion every day. That sounds complicated, but you can do it in less than 10 minutes. And if you head over to the Better Happy website, uh, you'll get a little pop-up come up to give you a free download. You can actually download a guide there and it's got our workplace mobility routine in there. It's there for free. So that shows you how to move your body every day for a full range of motion in less than 10 minutes. I recommend doing that twice a day. So if we're getting enough steps in and we're taking our body for a full body mo mobility routine once or twice a day, we're doing enough to have good 
physical body health. You don't need to do any more than that. What will probably happen is you'll feel good about that and maybe want to do more, but just to achieve baseline um, body health, that's all you need to do. Try when you're thinking about health not to get put off by the internet. I know I've already said this, I'm gonna finish off on this point now, but try and think about something that I coin uh, grandparents' health. So my nan is, is one of the healthiest people I know, my nan and granddad, and they don't, they don't really go to a gym, they don't really do intense exercise. I don't think she's ran a, <laughs> ran a step in, a, in the last five, 10 years of her life. Um, you don't need to do all that stuff, you know? She's just, she walks a lot. They move a lot. They, they they play golf. Luckily for them, but they just they just walk. And she does some she does her mobility in her house as well. So try to think more about nan health than you do about Instagram, bloke or woman with her top off ripped health because that's the wrong thing.